confused by conflicting nutrition information? Yes. We're well, not alone. A recent survey found almost 90% of New Zealanders don't know how much protein they should have, and 70% of parents worry about their children getting the right nutrients. Joining us in Coffee Group to help clarify the importance of protein for families is Mindy Wexel from Fonterra. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. Really nice to have you here with Treat. Well with things to play with later on. Yeah. Um, tell us why is protein so important in our diets? Sure, um, protein's really important. Um, it's actually a key component of our bodies. So every tissue in our bodies actually contains protein. So the protein that we eat actually helps us build bones, muscles, um, supports a healthy immune system, helps transport nutrients around the body. Wow, so it yeah, does everything. Absolutely. So also when you eat it as part of a, a meal, it can help provide a steady energy release from the food that you're eating. And also um, it's good to help keep you feeling full as well. Oh, okay. So yeah. it, does, it does do everything. Yeah. Uh, the Fonterra mm. survey revealed some interesting things about protein. What are the best, what are good sources? Sure. Um, so yeah, Fonterra did commission a survey. We asked uh, over a thousand New Zealanders what they knew. Um, and and there was a good understanding around um, the fact that protein is important for good health, but there was a lot of confusion around how much we need and, and what are the good sources. Yeah. So um, meat, for example, people did have a good understanding of that as a rich source of protein. Um, but you know, what, what about the other foods? Yeah. You know, what, what do we know? So here's an example. We've got some foods in front of us here. Okay. Do you want to have a stab and, and guess what you think are the foods that are highest in protein? The highest protein. Highest protein, um, protein. Yeah. Oh, crikey. I would say milk first, then I'd go cheese. Um, now I'm just guessing. Soy, lentils, eggs. Interesting guess. Um, quite different to what people in the survey guessed. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of people have different ideas. I'll show you what the actual... Um, order is. Yep. So we've got the highest up this end, right? Yep. So we'll go there. So, oh, so, yep. And then we've got there and uh -huh. that and that. So using these foods and these um, serving sizes as an example, cheddar cheese contained the most protein, followed by um, your tofu there, then a glass of milk. This is trim yeah. milk here. Um, and then the lentils and then lastly the egg. So I had the now, egg right. <laughs> you got that right, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, so interestingly though, people in the survey, the respondents generally thought that a single egg had um, more protein than all of the dairy examples that we showed. That is interesting. Is mm. it just as important, um, or is it the same for children? Do they need the protein too? Absolutely, yep. So as you mentioned, you know, parents are concerned about what they mm. feed their families and protein's really important to support the rapid um, growth and development, obviously, of kids. It's really important. So making sure that they get adequate protein is a really good idea. What about for busy parents? Equally important for them? Absolutely, yep. So um, protein, as we know, like I mentioned, it's an important part of our bones and muscles as well. So helping to keep you active and keep you in, in top form physically, yeah, yeah, protein can be really helpful. And you certainly need that when you're running around after kids, don't you? I bet. Yep. Um, what about pre or post workout? I've read so many conflicting things when I should be taking my protein in. Yep, you could, you could argue that both are important, but particularly at the end of your workout, especially Especially if you're doing um, resistance training or, or endurance training as well um, because you um, your bodies undergo quite a bit of damage in terms yeah. of the muscles when you do resistance training so the protein can be really helpful to repair that damage and help you to grow you know strong muscles oh good so I need lots of protein because I was doing some serious resistance yesterday I yeah. can't get it get off my chair particularly well today yeah. um, is there a better time of day or to be consuming protein yeah that's a really interesting question so um, most people tend to eat the vast majority of their protein at night but it can actually be a good idea to spread that out more evenly throughout the day and what that does if you think about having high quality protein earlier in the day as well that can help stimulate that muscle growth so help maintain um, strong muscles but it's also a good idea for its role in, in helping to keep you full yeah. and that steady energy release that I mentioned as well so cheese on toast for breakfast absolutely yeah Not a bad thing at all all sorts of different ideas so you can have um, maybe make your protein with milk have a latte instead of a, a black coffee or definitely add some cheese to a salad yeah Loads I love cheese I'm going through a cheese craving thing at the moment I just love it I can not get enough of it. Good way to get um, protein. So we should we should be getting it every day too. Obviously, we should make sure we have protein in our, in our meals every day. Yeah, absolutely. So um, in our bodies, that protein is always being made and broken down as well. Mm -hmm. So we need protein every day to fuel that process. Great. Oh, well, yep. thank you so much for coming in today. That was interesting, actually, with this whole thing, working it out. Some really great advice there. Thank you, Mindy.